All right, guys, so I just left the theater. I uh, just came from seeing Black Adam. Uh, this is gonna be my initial thoughts review because I literally like just left, just left right now. Um, so it's, uh, I gotta get in the background. Um, it's an okay movie, not a great movie. I had a lot of problems with the dialogue, which felt like it was written by almost teenagers at time. It was like really kind of, I don't know, it just didn't really feel like well written. And there were just like things that like didn't connect, like like relationships or like just like events that would happen, like they just didn't really come together in a cohesive way it felt like the movie was like really rushed um especially like with the editing there would be something happening and then like it would like switch over to another scene or then like it would switch back and it was like really jarring like it was really weird um the music didn't work for me there was like this movie should have had like some pretty epic music a lot of it was like this kind of like hip-hop-ish like I don't know, dude. It just did not fit the movie. I heard there were reports that this movie was supposed to be rated R. I really wish it would have done that because that would have been amazing. I think it would have like definitely helped the film out a bit. Um, it felt held back for sure. So that probably, if that story was true, I'm not sure that it is. But if it was supposed to be rated R, I feel like it would have been like way more badass than what it was. Um, there were some good moments. Um, none of the characters really kind of stood out. So, like, everyone was, like, okay in their roles. But, like, I feel like with what they were, what they had to work with, what the actors and actresses had to work with, it just wasn't enough, you know? Like, it's not like the actors themselves were bad. It's just, like, I don't feel like they had enough to work with to actually make, you know, make it really good. Um, I think my favorite out of the entire movie was probably Dr. Fader Hawkman. Um, Adam Smasher was pretty cool. He was pretty funny. He's almost like a Wally West Flash. But, uh, you know, like, they weren't really, he wasn't really in the movie, you know, too much. He didn't have too many scenes. I wasn't really feeling The Rock's Black Adam too much. Like, there wasn't enough to him. And the story overall was just like too campy you know like it was i couldn't take anything seriously like it's like the movie didn't really take itself serious at times and that actually hurt the movie uh more than helping it so i feel like it should have been like a little bit more serious there were some like good topics in there too like how the justice society like came in and they were like you know, like, we're here to, you know, protect Kondok from, you know, Black Adam. And then, like, they're like, well, where were you all this time? You know, like, you just now showed up after, like, all this stuff has happened. And then Black Adam is like, you know, on his point, it's like, yo, I kill people because, you know, that's how we do it in my time. And, you know, this is my, you know, it's my country. Like, I'm not going to change my rules for anyone. So there was, like, a lot of interesting points. And, you know debates that came up but it just didn't go deep enough like you didn't really feel it it was just like sorry there's some idiot trying to show off with his car uh but like you didn't really feel it like it wasn't deep enough um i felt like they definitely should have like went deeper with the dialogue made you feel a little bit more the dialogue like i said the dialogue wasn't that great the conversations didn't go too deep and a lot of the action scenes were just like really you know i don't know they just weren't great you know like it was good enough for the movie but like i feel like they could have done way more way better with this movie but that post credit scene though that post credit scene though if you know what i'm talking about i'm gonna i'm not really gonna say anything because i do believe there are a lot of people uh that will watch this review that probably have not seen black adam yet but if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about that post credit scene alone kind of made the movie good for me but it, it was a good it was an okay movie like i can't call it good i can't call it great but it was an okay movie um 
they definitely depowered Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate, they depowered him a lot. He was way more powerful than, than he is in the movie. But, and I feel like that's probably why they killed him off too. But, you know, it's all good. I just hope they bring him back and uh, we see some more characters in future movies. But yeah, overall, it was a, it was an okay movie. Uh, definitely worth to watch it once. Definitely better than a lot of uh, Marvel shows that came out. <clears throat> but <laughs> so that was my uh, kind of like a quick, you know, movie review from Black Adam, you know, after I left just out the theater with everything fresh in my mind. Um, I may do another one, uh, I don't know. I'll see what happens. But hey, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. And until next time, I will see you guys. I don't know I'm looking around like I'm guilty. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.